everybody, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Summer NAMM 2011 at the Vox booth with Doug Reynolds. Doug, how's it going? Good, how you doing, Sean? Good. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. So, you guys have a new amp here, the AC15 Twin. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, it's pretty much a take off the standard AC15 uh, single 12. This is the AC15 C2. Uh, so, it's set up with two greenbacks, uh, AC15 chassis. AC30 box, so same size as the standard AC30 212 with AC15 guts. Um, same basic electronics, normal mode, top boost channel, and you've got your normal volume, uh, top boost uh, volume, and two um, bass and treble. And then you've got your global controls over here, global reverb, global tremolo, and then your volume and tone cut control, which basically rolls off the high end. It's a high end roll off. So, uh, cool thing about this is it's 15 watts allows you to get a much better tone at low volumes. It's 212, so it's got a great, much bigger sound um, and plenty of power to use for you know pretty much any size of gig that you're playing. Cool. Classic box tone. Okay, Doug. So just like the 112 version of the AC15, there's two channels technically because I mean there's. It's not foot switchable because that's not classic box, yeah. but it's got two inputs. For the normal channel, there's a volume knob and then just um, tone, tone cut, cut knob, and that's it. So it's just kind of right. a that's purer right. sound. So the normal is obviously your gain, uh, you know, gain reduced type of channel, your standard normal AC channel. Then the top boost, you get into much more of a bass and treble controls. Um, but yes, the normal channel just has the tone cut, which basically rolls off the high end. And you can choose which, basically, mode you want, the normal or the top boost mode. And like the other earlier versions with one green back, this has right. two green backs and the reverb and tremolo are both foot switchable, right? Correct, correct. The tremolo, the reverb are foot switchable. And the good thing about this model, it also has the larger spring reverb tank in it. So it has the original AC30 reverb tank, the larger tank. OK, so cool. Very deep and big on it, really nice. Cool. Why don't we hear a little bit more of it? That's really nice, man. Now, I think earlier you guys were saying this is going to have a street price of like $7.99? $7.99, yes. The single 112 is uh, $5.99. And because this has a much larger box, it's obviously a little more uh, costly to build. And they're also adding the second green back. Uh, but the sound comparison between the 112 and the 212 is pretty significant. A lot beefier and lot more low end. Sound, a lot, lot wider projection on it. So uh, it's just a great amp. And, and 15 watts of tube is plenty of, uh, plenty of power to power 212s. Cool. Sure. Why don't you tell us well, where people can go to find out more about it online? www.voxamps.com. Cool. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, guys. Have a good show. Thanks, Sean. Thanks. I'm Sean Hammond. Thanks for watching PremierGuitar.com.